Hey, what's up, awesome people? Welcome to this another video by Useful AI. In this video, I'm gonna show you on how to perfectly run Google Ads for beginners on Shopify. So make sure to watch this step by step tutorial until the very end. This is a really easy work to do, but before we go further, if you want to have your first three months here in Shopify for just only one dollar. Just simply click on the link that I will be leaving in the description and you will be directed right here in this page. Here it says that, start for free, then enjoy $1 per month for your first 3 months. So if you like it, just click on the link below and put your email right here. And you can now enjoy your first 3 months for just only $1. And right now we're gonna start. So in order for you to start to run Google Ads, you need to have your Shopify account and a Google account as well. We usually use Google email account so it will not be a problem at all. Running Google Ads will make your shop stand out and more profound. So the first thing that you want to do is go and click the apps at the left side of your screen and search for Google. So this app will actually lead your shop to a section called Marketplace in Shopify and will lead you to drive sales and reach more customers. And you will also have here show your products on Google for free, reach even more customers with ads, manage your products directly on Shopify. So if you're gonna click on connect Google account, this will probably help you out to run your Shopify store. So all you want to do is to add Google ads to this actual website, which is Shopify. You better open a new browser and look for ads.google.com and now click on start now. Through Google Ads, you can create online ads to reach people exactly when they're interested in the products and services that you offer. Google Ads is a product that you can use to promote your business, help sell products or services, raise awareness, and increase traffic to your website. So we're gonna create a new Google Ads campaign. So right here, it says that let's get started. What is your business name? So I will put it like this for the sake of this tutorial. And I will now tap next. And now the question is, where should people go after clicking your ad? So right now, you need to put your website first. If you make your own website, you can just simply paste the link right here. And let's say you only have Shopify store, you can simply go to your online store and click view your store. And when you are right here, you can just copy the URL up right here and paste it on the Google Ads. And this will show to people when they click onto your website when they're using mobile. They will see like this and this for desktop. And now you can now tap next. And now, what is your main advertising goal? You can select get more calls, get more websites, sales or leads, get more visit to your physical location, get more views and engagement on YouTube, and tap next. And now, it's time to write your ad. Here you have headlines, descriptions, and show a call button to your ad. And I will just fill it out real quick. And now you can add keyword stems to match your ad to searches. So basically these keywords will get your ad to be optimized to everyone. Helps your ad to be in the high rank in any search engine. And the next part is show your ad in the right places. Here you can put your address manually or you can set it throughout Google Maps. And it says right here that your ad shows to people in the locations you set up. And to people that are interested in this location, you can now set a budget to the result that you want. So you can just simply confirm all of this, your campaign name, your campaign goal, your website, your business name, your text in your ad, headlines and the descriptions your phone numbers and your locations and the keyword. So right here, you wanna go to set up your payment confirmation. 
If you confirm all of it, just simply tap next and finish payment confirmation. As you can see right here, I'm now on the Google ad page and I have this option, the options and the side, which is campaign, goals, tools, billing, and admin. So now in the overview, which is saying add a new campaign. So when you click on there, you're going to see this option sales, leads, websites, traffic, product, and brand consideration, brand awareness and reach, app promotions, local store visits and promotions, and create a campaign without a goals guidance. So let's say you want to have more people to visit your Shopify store. When you want to focus on leads to drive more conversions, and if you want to let people find you or your business product, through Google and directed right here in Shopify. So here in your Google Ads, you want to focus to the sections of leads, which means get leads and other conversions by encouraging customers to take action. And you want to focus on sales where you can drive sales online in app, by phone or in store. And you might having a few sales or worse, you won't get any conversions. We want to focus on the let people know on what are they doing to our websites and when they are having clicking on. So in my own opinion, it is important that you focus on your leads. So now if you click on the continue, you can now select campaign type and you will have this search performance max display, shopping, video, discovery. So we want to focus on search section. And let's say I have product right here and I want to be in a high ranking in the search engine. So all you need to do is search for a almost the same name of your product. And if you look at the results, you can be able to copy the item description and add it to your item. So right now, select the way you'd like to reach your goal. Website visits, phone calls, star visits, app downloads, and leads from submissions. So wanna click on website and copy your Shopify URL. And in this part, it says that are trading your leads as websites conversions. And you can create conversions options. And you will now have to install options with the likes that you want to know if what leads doing after they click on the link. So in order to track or record the activities of the leads, and you want to do is install trading code to yourself. And now you can have your Google tag. As you can see right here, it says that copy the tag below and paste it between the head-to-head -head tags of every pages of your websites. Even if you're tracking multiple accounts and the easiest way is to go to your store, click three dotted and select edit code. And right now, click on the layout and select team.liquid and you can paste your tag right here. And of course, don't forget to hit save. And by looking at the overview under that, you will see the insights and reports. When you click on that and click on the insights, you can also track the overall interaction, all overall of performance across campaigns. In your campaigns, you can see right here the interactions, the cost, the average cost, and interaction rate. And you will see right here the analytics of all the performance of your Google Ads. And right down there, you can also see the dashboards. And you can monitor right here the performance of your Google Ads. And there you go. If you like more of this kind of tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.